Hello, hi, how you guys out there doing? I am back. As, as I have said this week, I'm going to conclude the last part of my positivity and negativity of series. It's a part one and it's a part two. Actually, it's called mini series one, which was talking about negativity and then I have the mini series two, which is talking about positivity. And I am now at the conclusion. And this is the mini series three, the final part of this series. And today I'm going to be talking to you about positivity versus negativity. Are you ready to jump into this video with me? Hello out there guys, this is your girl Destiny. My YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks. And if this is the first time you're coming on to my channel, then I personally give you an invitation to come on in and sit with me and watch my video. And then you can just go all across my channel, people. You are welcome to watch any video of your choosing. Just watch the videos listen to the message and guys let's dive deep into it right now and this is the conclusion i hope you guys are getting something from this series and i posted a um, review this morning about the uh, mini series positivity and negativity and i posed a question to you guys which one are you are you a negative person or are you a positive person? So go and make sure that you watch that video as well. It's a review that I did this morning. It's about 10 minutes long. Let's get into this and this is the final conclusion. Thank you guys for keeping in touch with me, for watching these videos, for your comments, for your always being there supporting destiny. I really truly love you guys and my purpose to why I am here on this channel is to help you to grow to your higher and greater self to point you into the direction of the creator God that is within you so you can know that you are a powerful energetic being that you are connected with the divine source of God himself and that God is within you. And I want you to grow and become the best version of who he created for you to be. I want you to be totally, absolutely positive in your aspect, in your entire aspect of life. Of course, negative things gonna hit at, at, at him. Of course, negative things will hit at us. It will come into our territory. It will come within our space. And a lot of times we will get those thoughts in our head that are negative. And sometimes we will just act on those negative thoughts. But I want you to recognize when negative things come to your mind that you don't have to team up with it. You don't have to agree with it. You know that negative things are going to take you to a lower negative place and it's going to rob the life that the Creator God has purpose and plan for your life. So the Bible said, cast it down every thought. And imagination that come ex that comes to exalt itself from what the Creator God has purpose and plan for your life. Let's dive deep right now, guys. And I'm I have some notes today because I got some things that I really want to make sure that you guys get this whole entire package. Okay, so this is the conclusion, and today I'll be talking about positivity versus negativity and this is the mini series three conclusion so let's jump into it I will be looking down because I do have some notes in front of me so guys as you know it is a drastically different experience being around positive people versus being around negative people I know that. I mean, I know when I'm around somebody so negative, 
it, it really upsets me. It, it gets on my nerves. I wish I try to get away. If I possibly can run, I will get away from them. I hate people always complaining about this ain't right and that ain't right. Then if it's not right, and if you don't like it, baby, you got to power within you to change that situation, change the circumstances, change your way of thinking. But I know we get around people, we have been around them, and sometimes we probably was one of those people ourselves. So my question I asked before, do you have a positive attitude or do you have a negative attitude? And what is the difference between a positive attitude and a negative attitude? And it is common knowledge that having a positive attitude, it will make you feel so much better. You will feel so much healthier, wiser. And you'll feel so much like, hey, you know, I'm unstoppable, you know, because you have that totally, absolutely confidence within yourself. So you're going to feel so much better about who you are than when having this negative attitude, this negative concept of yourself, or this negative thinking about the way that life is. But you create your reality. My people, you create your world with your own thoughts. Even though you are not your thoughts, but they're coming from your ego. And your ego will always program you to that negative place to keep you at your lower state of consciousness. But my people, while the concept of positive thinking is something that is known to all of us. And my people, not all of us are aware of exactly how we can be optimistic, optimistic, you know what I'm saying? Every single day or every moment of the day. And a lot of times we don't even know exactly how to see the good in every situation that comes in our life. But there's good. It's good in every situation. You got to see that. You go ahead and make the ultimate decision to if it's not the way I like it, if it's not the way that the Creator God has said it should be, if it's not good or perfect in the sight of the Creator God, then I have the power that He placed within me to change that situation. Then jump deep and change it. Don't let it grow because the more it grows, the more you lose yourself, your positivity, your positive energy, and you disconnect yourself further away from the divine plan of the Creator God of this you, you get me? Okay. Stay with me. Positivity, people, and negativity, they are two parameters. Which commands everyone's everyday life. Every day is going to come and it's going to present itself to you. Positive circumstances, positive situations. On the other side, it's going to come negative all circumstances, negative situations, but the choice is yours because the Bible said you choose. The creator God of the universe gives us choices, my people. Choose you this day whom of what you will serve. So if you choose positivity, hey, that's your choice. That's a great, wonderful choice because you're going to grow and you're going to see yourself go to a higher, greater level. But if you choose to stay on that negative spectrum, then you chose a, 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 a totally, absolutely, a lifeless life. A life that you're going nowhere. You're just going around in a circle. So it's like choosing death. So my people, listen to what I'm about to say here. We have to make sure that our mind is center focused. That our mind is stayed on the divine creator and his word. Because the Bible tells us. If you keep your mind stayed on the Creator God, that He will keep you in perfect peace. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding. That helps keep our mind and our hearts focused. The Bible also says that we have to renew our mind daily. Our mind has to be renewed. Because when negative things come, we don't have to settle for it. We don't have to agree with it. We got to go deep within ourselves and see what the creator God has created us to be. We are more than conquerors, my people. We are overcomers. 
We are perfect and beautiful and wonderful in his sight. And he created us totally, absolutely in his image and in his likeness. My people, as I said, positivity and negativity are two parameters which commands everyone's everyday life. And they are the center of each and every thought process which comes across our minds. So listen to this. Whatever we believe, that we will perform, and that will also is what we will achieve. And the outcome of all of those is ruled by these two factors, negativity people and positivity. Now listen, positivity, what is positivity? And it's just so simple and easy, it's a very simple answer to that. Positivity, it has a very simple meaning. And what it is, is the practice of being or the tendency to be positive or optimistic in your attitude. That's it. Just that simple. Turn the spectrum on the other end. You have negativity, people. So what is negativity? Very simple also. Very simple answer. What negativity is, it is the expression of criticism or pessimism, being negative, you know what I'm saying, about something. It's always, you don't see nothing going to a higher place. It's always been in that negative place of gloom and doom and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so listen, I'm going to look down at my notes now because I'm going to share some things with you about how putting positivity or positive thinking into practice. And I know this is something that a lot of you out there want to know how to do it, but right now you're at the right place, at the right time, at the right moment, because I'm going to tell you how to put positive thinking into practice. And it's up to you to take this and you put it on yourself and you use this practical application of making yourself become your more better and positive self. That is what the creator God expects of you. So I'm going to give you negative self-talk on one side of the spectrum, people. Then I'm going to give you the positive thinking. Okay? Now, listen to this. The negative self-talk. You may say, I've never done it before. So turn that around. And change it to positive. Instead of saying, I've never done it before, change it to positive and say, it's an opportunity to learn something new. Some negative self-talk, you may say, it's too complicated. Let's flip the switch, my people. Let's go to the positive side and do some positive thinking. Instead of saying, it's too complicated, say, I'll take it from a different angle. Negative self-talk, you may say, I don't have the resources. Okay, let's flip that. And use it in a positive way of thinking and say, necessity is a mother of intervention. I can go out and create whatever that I choose to create. I can... Go out there and build the resources that I can take from that to make something greater happen. And then this is another side of um, negative self-talk. You may say, I'm too lazy to get this done. People, please, when you start, when you start speaking stuff like this, you're only creating a a world of negativity, seriously. But to say, I'm too lazy to get this done, hey, think about it like this. And let's go to the positive way of, of saying this. Say I wasn't able to fit it into my schedule. But you know what? I can re-examine some priorities and I'm going to put this in my schedule. I 
some more negative self-talk that you may have said to yourself, there is no way it will work. So let's squash that. We're not gonna say let's say we're not gonna say that. That's so negative and it won't get done to say there is no way it will work. But switch it over to the positive side, people, and say this. I can try to make it work. I think I can. Remember the little engine? Say, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. You keep saying it until it manifests itself. Until it blossoms into you are doing it. You are making it work, people. Another tool, another uh, negative self way of talking is to say, it's too radical of a change. People listen, instead of living in that, in that negative self-talk, reverse that into a positive thinking and say, let's take a chance at this. I know this can work. I know that I have the power within me to make it happen. It doesn't have to be radical. I can make it a possibility. Let's, let's look at another way of negative self-talk. No one bothers to communicate with me. That's a negative. Let's switch it over to the positive side, people. And let's say, I'll see if I can open the channels of communication where we both can communicate and talk to. See what I'm saying? I will open the channels of communication so we both can have this one-on-one -on -one talk with each other. Another way of self-negative talk people is, is saying things like, I'm not going to get any better at this. You know, but you, I'm saying you already curse yourself when you say, I'm not, I'm not. When you do those negative contractions, you already don't curse yourself. You better learn how to switch that. So instead of saying, I'm not going to get better at this, people, listen, change that and be, put on your positive suit, people, and say, I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to give it another try. Hey, I can do this. I can do this. But guess why? Because a winner never quits and a quitter never wins. You make sure you think about that. A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. So did you get that? You can change your way of thinking and your thoughts. If your negative side of self-talk comes out, hey, you can push it back out of the way and say, oh, no, dismiss it. You can immediately, though, but you have to immediately change it to positive thinking. And you got to keep speaking it and keep speaking it and putting that more positivity to it, that more energy, that positive energy to it. Baby, that negativity, it has to drop off. It has to go away. It has to leave you because now you're flying at your greater higher self. So listen, positivity not only brings miracles to you, but it also attracts and it influences all other positive people that is around you. It's like a magnet. You know, positive is like a magnet. Whatever that it gets around, it's it gonna attract it. It draws itself to you. So definitely, we are affected by many people that is around us. And in the same way, we affect them. It's, it's like they're affecting us with their negativity, then we can affect them if we're being negative. Or if, they're, if, if, if we're being positive, then we can affect them. We can put some positive over there on them. So we can draw them from, the, from that negative side, that ne negative way of thinking, that negative way of doing things and believing that they can't not get anything working for them. Hey. Be that positive magnet that pulls that negative force right onto your side. Lift them up. Let your positive words and your positive 
outlook on life, about yourself, about who the creator of God and the universe is. Bring determination to the people around you. You have the power, baby. It's in you to do it. He's giving you that. And that's what we are here on this earth. This, that's our assignment, to help people to grow, to become their greater, higher self, the better version of who the Creator God has created for them to be. So, let's look at some more about negativity versus positivity, people. Negative thinking is instructive thoughts. They are so unwelcome. Involuntary thoughts, all these images or unpleasant ideals that may come from obsessions or upsetting our distressing moments. And it can be very difficult to be free of those things or to manage our lives differently if that's what we're constantly doing all the time. But negativity, people, it penetrates you physically as well as mentally. That negativity, guys, is going to affect your self-talk. It's going to affect your point of view. It's going to definitely affect your relationships. So, guess what? Moreover, when you think negatively, you will have a face or you will face a challenge or a change in your mood. And you're gonna you're gonna face a change in your behavior. Like when you're speaking all this negativity and you're agreeing and it's all you're living in all the time, then you will face a change because you're gonna it's gonna turn on you and then you're gonna start speaking things out of anger, things from depression. You're gonna lose your appetite. You're gonna have body pains, all kinds of Things gonna happen to you. You will have hallucinations of things happening when they're not even there, my people. And you become so paranoid. But accordingly, limits and borders, they will be formed between you and people that you used to deal with. So you just know that's gonna happen because, hey, that's what you invite into your life. Those things is going to happen. You're going to have to deal with that. So negative thinking is going to drain you from the power and it will imprison you in a limited world where you see everything in a pessimistic perspective. Baby, as long as you see it in a negative perspective, in a pessimistic perspective, hey, you ain't going nowhere. Like I said, you're going to keep picking around on the ground like that chicken. Being that low life, never seeing itself, spreading wings to fly like the eagle. The eagle soars high to a greater, higher level all the time, reaching for its greater peak. Let's go on the positive side and let's, let's look at the positive version of this, okay? Positive thinking, people, is a mental attitude that omits into the mind of thoughts. It's going to, bam, it's going to open up your words to be more positive and your images you're going to see such powerful images of, of you being so conducted to grow into a better higher you life around you is so much better and so much stronger you're going to start seeing it conducted to growth and expansion and your success is going to reach a higher peak so much faster but it is a mental attitude that expects good and favorable results. It is also a strategy that can be used, people, to make you feel good about yourself. And that's where you want to be. You always want to feel good about yourself because you know that you're good. you are good. Because he said, I created you good. And when it came to man, God said, I created you very good. You got to believe that and agree with the creator of God, the universe. He created you in his likeness, I keep saying, and in his image. He is good. And so you got to see yourself good because you are him and he is you. People, positivity gives you power. It improves your health. And it maintains healthy and wholesome, great relationships. Relationships like 
intimacy, like friendships and things to that nature. And people will like the way that you see them. And the moment you will magnify a positive action, the next day you will achieve an unexpected result. Now listen to this. Challenges are what make life interesting, people. And overcoming them is what makes life so meaningful. And a lot of times we don't like to compete with the challenges. It's so it's something that challenges we want to quit and give up. It's the challenges. It's the going through. It's the facing the things in front of you. I don't care if you got to face it with fear. You got to go in and face it. But you got to get through it. That's what makes life interesting. And that's what makes overcoming them, my people, so meaningful. You give a totally, absolutely different meaning to life. So listen to this. Positive and negative thoughts can become self-fulfilling prophecies. Of course. Because the Bible says whatever man thinking within his heart or a woman thinking within her heart, so they become. So whatever your thoughts are, whether it's negative or positive, hey, guarantee that is a self-fulfilled prophecy. So... What we expect or speak can often come true. And nine times out of ten, my people, it's coming true. Whether it's positive or negative, whatever that you speak, my people, you better be believe it. It's going to come back to you. So make sure whatever you send out there to the universe, it is positive. It agrees with the universe. It agrees with what the creator God says about who you are, your powerful, dynamic self. So if you start out thinking that you will mess up, a task, guess what, people? The chances are that you will. You're gonna mess, you're gonna mess up, you're gonna fall on your face. And then guess what happens? You may not try hard enough to succeed. Because if I try, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fall on my face again. Hey, you gotta change your way of thinking, you gotta change your words. You may not try hard enough to succeed. But you gotta change all of that. You gotta start trying. Like the little engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. You gotta keep saying it till it grows inside of you so big. Because the God within you is greater than, and bigger than all your problems and circumstances. I can do all things through Him who created us in His likeness and in His image, my people. And you can do this. You can get life done. And you want a traits. All this negative stuff coming behind you when you put on your negative mind and your negative way of doing things. And you want to attract all this negative support which is fake and phony from people saying, oh yeah, I got your back. I can do this. I can help you. And then all of a sudden they just Never trying to change their circumstances. Never trying to change their lower way of thinking. And, and, and people, if you keep allowing those things to happen, then you may not perceive any results of good enough in yourself, in, in the way you see yourself, or the way you think. Because you hang around people that's not supportive of you. They're negative people. Let them go. Positive thinking, on the other hand, people, it's often associated with positive actions and with positive outcomes. And you're drawn to, you're drawn to all this. You got your energy, it's like that magnet is pulling you because you're so in tune with your divine self, the creator God that's in you. And you're so focused and your mind so focused on what he said about you and hey, your faith has grown to that place. It's like, not, ain't nothing stopping me because I know who I am. I know who he created me to be. I know who he says I am. And the positive aspects of that situation is going to go to a higher spectrum. You'll be going to grow to your higher, greater self. Now you have the hope, my people. And you have the faith in yourself. And you even have faith in others. Because you're pulling them along with your magnet of positivity. And this is going to work for you now. And you're going to have to invest hard times and effort to prove that your 
Optimistic is warranted, people. And then you enthuse others. You got to motivate people. I mean, you're gonna, if you got to be in my space, you're going to have to be around me, then you're going to have to spit on them some motivation, some inspiration. <laughs> spit on them some positive energy. And you're going to have to help them to go in. And then they will also pitch in. Then they will start helping you. And that makes constructive outcomes, my people, so much more likely. So, let's conclude this. The positivity versus the negativity. And this is what it all comes down to. When it, it all comes down to positive, optimistic, optimistic people, they are happier. They are, happy, they are healthier. I'm, not, well, I'm getting tongue twisted. I'm going to say it all again. When it all comes down to it, people, positive people, they are more optimistic people. They are more happier people. They are more healthier people. And they enjoy more success than those who continue to live in that negative place, that negative thinking, living in that negative environment with that negative energy. And the key difference between negativity and positivity, my people, is how the person think about life. How the person think about themselves. How the person see their life and how they're living and how they see themselves. And it comes down to how they interpret it, the events in their life every day. I give it to you. And on the next video, I will see you with something different to talk about. But go back and watch mini series one, mini series two, and then you bring it all together with mini series three today. Positivity versus negativity. And I'm going to see you at a higher, greater level of being that positive person who created God, created you to be. Namaste. Comment below in the comment box and tell me what you got from these videos, this series. Love you guys.